Matthias. Sebastian. It is time for shopping. You're very right. Christmas is just around the corner. And welcome back to another episode of Reviewing Your Underwood Films. It's great to have you with us again today for yet another submission that we'll review. How are you today, my friend? I'm good. Yeah? I'm good. Are you already in that Christmas shopping mood? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And have I've, you and sorted I've... out all your Christmas presents? Mm, no, nah, not yet. But I have two suggestions for you. For me? Yeah. But you don't even know if I have sorted out all my Christmas presents I already. don't care. But I just give you suggestions what you can shop. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> We're not going to interact with each other. We're just going to follow a script. Yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? <laughs> for a change. Okay. <laughs> Well, then tell me your suggestions for my Christmas presents, which I might or might not have already gotten. Well, first of all, you have a present uh, gift for your wife. No. Well, maybe this one (laughs) would be one for her. How did you know that she loves pink? (laughs) Maybe because I know her. (laughs) Maybe. Maybe. It would actually go very well with one of her coats. I, I, I do like it. Yeah. So tell me, this is... We're changing roles here a little bit. Yeah, I know, I know. I have tell no me. clue. But I know <laughs> that it's the new Die Fork um, C-Touch 4 Max Plus housing. Correct. Which comes in new colors. Correct. Uh, one of the new colors is the uh, pink one. Yes, that's right. So, but if your wife doesn't like pink or your lovely assistant doesn't like pink... Or if you're the wife and you want to... <laughs> Gift your husband another option. <laughs> it's not another color. Silver. 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 Right. Yes. Um, and the third color, the black one, but it's the regular it, black the one. one is already out. Yeah. Um, These ones should be out by now as well, actually. Exactly. And yeah, I don't know what I want to say. Um, I want to say go shopping, Matthias. <laughs> go shopping. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> No, seriously, I, I think it's pretty cool. Um, the, I think it's getting a, a thing with Die Fog. They're getting all the new colors and, and a new housing. It's pretty cool. They will actually, and this might, you might not know this, but they will actually change their the colors of their uh, C-Touch 4 Max housing, C-Touch 4 Max Plus housings now they're called. Uh, they will change them every year. So every year there's going to be new colors, which is actually really cool. Last year we had uh, white and blue. I don't know if you can see that in the background here, white and blue. And then this year we get a uh, silver one and a pink one. Then the following year there's going to be two new colors again, uh, which obviously uh, for someone like me who loves collecting that stuff, it's stuck. It's a drama because I have to get new ones every year. Uh, but it's actually really cool, I think, that you can actually personalize your, uh, your housings a little bit. Um, so I really appreciate that their effort in just brightening up and bringing more colors into the uh, underwater world. I think that's uh, absolutely needed. Uh, so yeah, thank you, Folk, for giving us new colors on the uh, most popular underwater smartphone housing on the market. And as always, um, I'll put the link down in the video description below, uh, which is going to give you a 6% discount on all of the new colored housings, as well as all the other older products that are on the Dyfog site. And this is because Dyfog is the sponsor of uh, this video and the entire series here. And as a little benefit, an extra benefit to you as our audience, they are providing this 6% discount on uh, your next order. So if you uh, do need a Christmas present, whether that is a new housing or any other accessory that your loved one might need to uh, add to their existing setup, go and check out the Die Fork website and uh, pick out whatever you want. The discount will be automatically applied at checkout. Thank you, Die Fork. So Very I'll much it, appreciate. I make it easy for you. If if you want to do only the black one for me, that's fine as well. So you don't have to go with the new colors. Oh, no, you're getting the pink one. <laughs> All right. No, 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 no black one for you, my friend. <laughs> If you want me to give right. you a present, I choose the color. All right. That's can the I, deal. Can, can, I, can I get a little unicorn on it as you well? You can, of course. Oh, I'll okay. draw it myself. <laughs> yeah. A little unicorn with only one finger. Guess which one that's going to be. Thumbs up. Yes, exactly. <laughs> All right, moving along and to the important part of today's video, which is our submission. Please enlighten us who 
this video are we watching today? Our 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 today's is that correct English? Yeah, I think so. Our today's submission is from Christian, and uh, he sent us a video with the title "The Basil Odyssey," um, recorded in Italy. Where else? The land of Basil. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And um, Makes sense. he was using a GoPro 10 with two video lights. Okay. And that's it. Oh, wow. That's it. Let's, let's get bezeled up then. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And this year, when we were in Italy, I noticed that the basil was up very quickly. Noticing this, I remembered that there was a special project very close by in Noli. This was the start of my journey to Nemo's garden. At the beach of Noli we started our dive. After a short dive, we arrived at the underwater domes. Here we found the first basil that was raised under special care. Sadly, we were not allowed to take any basil home, but I was sure to get better and fresher basil in the future. After our dive, we drove back home. As soon as we arrived home, I started preparing a special dinner with fresh basil. Very interesting story. It's a very interesting video. Yeah, I agree. Um, I like. You. I like. <laughs> thank you. Uh, I like. I like the idea. Um, it's you, you put thought in it. What what you can do. Um, you use you you use no not you he <laughs> he used narration, <laughs> um, which I like per se. It's like um, it's nice to 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 follow the story, to complete mm -hmm. the story. 
Um, would have been nice to have a little bit more information because, like, I think there is more information about the Nemo mm -hmm. Garden. Um, because, like, we had a, like a pretty big gap um, where we only saw the structure of the of the Nemo Garden. Would be nice to to hear a little bit more about uh, what's happening. Um, I think we can talk about the narration later. Um, mm -hmm. What I liked as well was the 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 sound design. Mm -hmm. It's like it was it, it created a a um, how you say. A, a fitting atmosphere mm -hmm. for the for the underwater scenery, mm -hmm. um, and I think the music was overall as well fitting. There are two occasions where it uh, I think it didn't fit, uh, but overall I think was was fitting. Was mm -hmm. like calm and and, and mm -hmm. not taking over any control. Mm -hmm. It was like just yeah fitting mm -hmm. the, the 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 story. Can I say something here yeah, before you please, go on? Please. I agree to most what you said. Oh. I think the music was. I think when you say the 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 sound design, you enjoyed that. Me too. But I think that the composing um, of the sounds could could have been improved a little bit in terms of making the music and the narration. The narration was the narration was fine level wise. The music. I would have liked to have the music increase when there was no narration mm. and that didn't happen. The music just stayed at the same level throughout and it was fine while the narration was going, but when the narration stopped and there was these, these, these pauses in between, the narration pauses in between, I would have liked the music to go up to a, like, just bring it up, I don't know, five decibel or something, uh, or 10 decibel up. So it, it's a little more dominant in those areas where there is no narration. Mm -hmm. I agree. Thank you. Again. You're welcome. <laughs> um, yes, so I, I enjoyed I enjoyed the story. I enjoyed like the intro, I enjoyed the outro. It's like a very good example of how you can you can actually make a story with not a lot of content. You know, it was um, obviously Christian put a lot of thought, as he said, into making this video, preparing it, thinking about it, um, and then like Let's be honest, the footage underwater, it's not, there's no sharks, there's no turtles, there's no manta rays. It's not very exciting underwater footage in that sense, but still, because you have a story, it just elevates the footage just automatically to a different level because it's now not just about the quality of the footage, but it's about the entire story with like the intro, the outro, the middle part, the narration, the sound design, everything that goes along into making, um, making this piece. Um, let's talk about things that could be improved. Yeah. Let, or do you have something else? No, no. I, we can we can start with that. Let, because you just said making, so let's talk about the making, like the filming. And I think um, in some scenes, like a camera camera movement would be very beneficial. Yes. I, I I had the feeling it's not like not stability. It's more like the 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 moving around or just following your fish. It's mm -hmm. like it's. It I makes think, a little bit... I think it also has to do with the way Christian uh, went about in the edit because there was often times, often, often, a couple times I noticed, there was like sort of like a jump cut. Yeah. You got that down there too? Yeah. yeah. Where you have like a scene and then you suddenly just uh, kind of just cut out a couple of seconds and continue with the same scene and it's, it's what we call a jump cut. And... I didn't think it did very much good to to the film because it's kind of interrupted the the calmness of the film. Yeah, I I I agree. I think it could work if it would work with the music. The problem is mm -hmm. the music mm -hmm. was not made for it because, like, from the scenery, just you're getting closer to Nemo uh, to the Nemo Garden and just to jump cut through it, just to 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 shorten it. I think it could work, but not with that kind of music and not kind of the the atmosphere you're creating. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, 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 very true. I don't have anything in my mind which would I would use in that kind of situation a jump cut. It's like it's, I mean, it's hard to you can to... you can use you can use a cut where you just skip over a certain part of getting closer to it, but then that's like one cut. Yeah, that's but not, not like several cuts yeah. as jump cuts. and not and if you want to do that, then then you cut out a larger portion, mm. but with with the portions that you cut out, they were small enough to be or big enough to be noticed, but small enough to actually make sense to me. It's like it just 
like just moving up a couple meters, like two or three meters, and then having the cut place there didn't really make much sense to me. It didn't add anything to the viewing experience. And if it doesn't add any any value to it, then I just personally wouldn't do it. Um, so that's that's one thing that I've also got written down there. Then uh, I also have the positioning of the camera sometimes, and I don't know if that was purposely or or, or involuntarily. I don't know, but sometimes you were really tilting that camera in in for me in very odd ways. At one point, it was even going into like a very close to being a, a vertical video, um, and I didn't quite understand it. You have to move through the structures and you have to had to move the camera around. Maybe that's the reason why you had to do this. If that's the case, I would have just cut that out. Uh, that part of actually moving in there, uh, having to move the camera in these uh, weird positions. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I think as well, some ca some shots of their whole construction could left out a repetitive, mm -hmm. so I just could leave them mm -hmm. out because we already saw that, or add another ones like I don't know, like a tilt up or something. I think Maybe a shot from up like, above would be nice, or something like that. You know, yeah. like a shot top down where you can see a larger portion of that uh, structure from from yeah. the top, which would also be. Uh, so just add a, uh, add a greater variety of shots mm -hmm. instead of like more repetitive ones. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Agree. Agree. And then also, as you were saying before, this is uh, another thing that I've written down here on the improvement side. Um, I think that more information would have been beneficial, would have been good to have more information on the project. Because I'm not very familiar with the project, even though it's not too far away from here. I've heard of it, but I'm not very familiar with it. Why was it installed? Who is behind the project? What is the goal of the project? What are they trying to do? I mean, it's it's certainly not to commercially grow bezel down there on a large scale it's way too small for that but maybe it's just an experiment they're trying out something that kind of information would have been very uh would have been very nice to have to put all that into a bit of a perspective i want to go in to that information part like yes the narration part um for me personally i would never narrate my own story in english mm -hmm. because I'm not a native speaker, mm -hmm. but it just that's for me just mm -hmm. personal. Mm -hmm. And so like my suggestion would be with today's tools you have um, to mm. use like an artificial voice. Yeah. Um, we heard it a couple of times in the, in the last couple yeah. of months. Um, yeah, like search for a voice which is fitting your story, yeah. be it male or female, dark voice, high pitch voice, whatever it is, uh, and then uh, create yeah, create uh, your your voice over with it, mm -hmm. and as well in in the, in the same in the same uh, um, working process, you can input either you have the information, write it yourself, or use um, tools. I don't know, like ChatGPT or something like that, mm -hmm. to to get more information and and put it down in like yep. in, a, in a in a narration type of type of style, uh, kind of style. Yeah, good idea. Um, yeah, because like yeah, the tools are available. And let, like they're, they're most of the time they're for free. Just experiment with that and 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 see where it go, it's going. It's it's pretty interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Agree. Yeah. Yeah. That's definitely an option that that you can uh, you can try out. I mean, that's a very personal thing whether you want to narrate your you film yeah, yourself definitely. or not. But definitely. yeah, I would probably probably go the same road. Um, but then again, it's like him in the. You can, you can see Christian in the video himself a couple times as well. So I can I understand. I can see why he has narrated it himself. But totally valid point that you're making there. Yeah. Um, right. That's it. That's it. I have not anything else written down. And I just realized it's my turn to sum it up. It is. It's so I'm totally not prepared for that one. That's so okay. Maybe you want to talk a little bit as usual, and I. Just give me two seconds. So, well, I was just talking about like my last vacation or something. <laughs> yeah, maybe that. No. Now let's just say thank you to Christian uh, at this uh, time for the submission and for allowing us to review your film here within this series. We really enjoyed watching that. A great example of how you can uh, make and create a story without having spectacular underwater footage. I really, really like that. Um, 
If um, anyone else has a video they want to have uh, reviewed here on the channel, then write us an email to contact at MatthiasLibo.com with the link to the uploaded video and we'll be happy to watch and review it within the series here on the channel. As always, it's going to be a link down in the video description below to all the previous um, submissions that we've reviewed. You can go and check them out there. And if you're interested about the... Um, the competition which Christian's video is going to go into as well then there's also going to be videos linked in the description below that will explain you what the competition is exactly and also that are going to as video that is going to explain what the prize is which is the uh, one week video workshop in the Maldives uh, in April next week that's the grand prize that is up for grabs so if you in wanna... April next week did I say next week <laughs> yeah. yeah in April next week next year April 2025. April, November. Okay. Looking forward to that. <laughs> yeah, me too. See, that's that's what happens if you give me too much talk. Yeah, time. I know, I know. I just want to say... I You're ready. I would have enough time to get another coffee. Um, but yeah, but I'm ready for the summer. Okay. Please sum it up then. Uh, Christian, thank you very much for your submission. Uh, we'd like... The, your story and the effort you put into creating the story uh, around around the basil, basically. <laughs> um, we liked as well the the music, the choice of music and the sound design you did um, to yeah to make it a whole a whole story, a whole piece. Um, we think you can work on the talking about the audio and about the mixing of your audio, just to make sure that when there's no narration, the volume of the, the sound design or of the music is a little bit higher, just to get like throughout the entire piece a, a leveled uh, audio. Uh, as well, we think you could work on the camera movement. Um, don't do any approved movements or any like for the for the viewer weird looking movements. Um, just yeah, try to follow them straight, like horizontal. Um, don't follow any any fish in a, in a like a more hectic way. Just to get it more calm, more controlled movements. And then uh, we think you could put in a little bit more information about this special project uh, because there like or there were some gaps uh, between the narration. We would be more room for information to tell us more about the project, about the area, uh, whatever it is you want to put in uh, that would be beneficial for the video. Mm -hmm. But yeah, thank you very much for that interesting story. Excellent. Cool. That's it. I've given you all the information before while Sebastian was writing up his uh, summary. So there's no much more to say than thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this video and the review was beneficial to you and you got something out of it. If that's the case, let us know in the comment section below. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet. Go and get yourself a pink uh, or silver uh, dive fork housing if you haven't got one yet so you can put it underneath the Christmas tree for your loved ones and we're looking forward to seeing you back here on the channel for the next episode of reviewing your underwater films next week until then have a great time and we'll see you in the next one happy shopping bye bye bye